Hey everyone, in this week's episode of Monkey Shorts, we're going to look at splitting values in a column with Power Query. So I'm gonna go and take a look here at some data and you can see I've got some day names down the left and I've got some employees here that worked on any given day. And what's happened is that somebody's put these in broken by hard returns between everything. So I've got five employees in one cell and this is obviously not normalized. So I wanna try and fix this. So I'm gonna go right click on my data here. I'm gonna choose reference. I'm going to make a new query, which I'm going to call columns. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to the staff column. I'm going to right click and we're going to choose to split column by a delimiter. Now, the problem is that when we do this, it comes back and says, would you like to use a space? Because that's what it finds first. And we say, no, 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 that's not right. I need a hard return. So I'm going to go down to custom and to find that hard return, I'm going to go to split using special characters. We're gonna say insert special character. Now, at this point, the trick is, do you use a carriage return, do you use a line feed, do you use a carriage return and line feed character? I'm not sure, so I'm gonna start with carriage return. And I'm gonna go and say, okay. And you can see what happens, I get null. So plainly not the right character here. So I'm just gonna go and delete the change type step. We're gonna go back in here. I'm gonna highlight what's in the, uh, in the field here for carriage return and I'm gonna insert this time a line feed. And if this still doesn't work, I'm gonna go with carriage return and line feed. But in this case, we'll say okay. And what you'll notice is that it splits nicely here. Now, the reality is on this one here is that usually when people are doing this, they're actually trying to do it to unpivot this data and get it into a format that looks like this. Unpivot other columns, remove the attribute, and just rename this back to our original staff column that we actually had. Okay, so this is one way we can use special characters to split into columns and then unpivot. Now, it takes a few steps to get it done, but it definitely works. But there is one challenge you can run into with this. If you've got a really long data set and it starts and it's only got three columns, but somewhere down, you know, 1500 rows down, there's five columns, you may not pick everything up. So I wanna show you an alternate route here that's actually better and faster. We're gonna go right click. We're gonna reference this one here, and I'm gonna call this one rows. And what I'm gonna do is gonna go right click on my staff, split column again by delimiter. We're gonna go and choose once again to use a custom delimiter with a special character. We know what it is this time, it's the line feed, so we'll just choose that. But I'm also going to open up the advanced options. And if we do that, you'll notice that by default we split into columns. This time, we're gonna split into rows. And when I go and say okay, Boom, there it is. It just splits all of these into individual rows. It automatically fills the other parts down, takes three steps, and we are finished. So that's the big difference between splitting into columns and splitting into rows. It saves you the unpivot action. Thank you for watching this episode of Monkey Shorts. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click on the Skillwave logo on the bottom left in order to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to see more videos in the series, click on the playlist tile on the right. And if you'd like to get more comprehensive training, you should definitely check out our website at skillwave.training.